Uh, my journalist bone is a tingling. It's a tingling and a ringling. And we're about to basically expose Trump for being the, the most corporate president we have right now. Anyways, uh, so yeah, let's just get into the video. Woo! In the flame, you just gotta go. At some point, this candle, I gotta blow. I guarantee you talk shit and let's see who wins this race. I don't know. I made a video one time. I think I actually deleted it within 24 hours, but uh, on accident, because uh, I was trying to edit it and whatever. But uh, basically showing how the money... Uh, that Trump is getting is probably the most corporate of all of it. And now, I know you're going to have people and they're going to say, He's fighting for America, so how can you say that? Say, follow the money, okay? Just follow it. As a matter of fact, here's his top donor. Right up here, Mr. Timothy Mellon, $75 million for the Trump campaign. Wow. Wonder where his background is. Oh, shit, he's a former government contractor. Yeah, uh, get, wait, wait, way to fight the deep state while getting a massive amount of your money from a former contractor, okay? I'm just saying, wow, that is a, that is a great thing. Oh, my God. And he, again, why does nobody talk about this? Because I have to be the one to do it, okay? Like how I broke the AIPAC news and do all the donor shit with that two months before actually more than two months before Tucker Carlson did? Come on now. Again. You're voting for the the deep state candidate, you fucking retards. Holy shit. That's just me, though. You know, I'm just saying look, at least be honest, you know. But let's go over his second top donor, shall we? Uline, Inc. Okay. Let's see what their owners and how they got their money. So, apparently, uh, they had, their employees complained, okay, because you had an anti-vaxxer fucking conspiracy theorist, okay, and they're complaining to who? The federal government. So, another government contractor. I swear to God, these people are think they're anti-establishment, but they're supporting a candidate where this top two donors are funded by government contract former government contractors and or current holy shit by the way you wonder why conservatives were spewing anti-vax conspiracy theories and why donald trump simultaneously spews anti-vax conspiracy theories because he has an anti-vax conspiracy theorist in his head okay that's his second highest donor and it's two Government contractors are his top donors, and or former government contractors, okay? Like, and you think that man, that man who is funded, top two donors, by the way, almost 90, over $90 million, okay? And that guy's not, maybe, maybe not swaying you to think he's this populist guy, but in reality, is the actual deep state asset, I guess. Look, if I have to frame it like that, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, like, what else to say here, okay? You are voting for the candidate that is funded by government contractors and or former government contractors. So, yeah, uh, vote Trump, I guess, if you're for government contractors. I mean, shit. Me, personally... I'm going to be voting independent, okay? If if uh, if my guy isn't available, I'm voting Democrat at this point. Fuck it. I, 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 cause I don't know. I'll find another uh, independent candidate, probably. I, I don't know. And or I just won't vote, cause fuck this shit. Uh, uh, yeah, but actually more than likely, fuck this shit. Uh, yeah, if the guy I want isn't available to vote for, then, oh, uh, fuck it. But, that being said, uh, I am pretty much out of here. Uh, Trump for go uh, government contractors for Trump 24, baby. Uh, who would have known? Uh, I'm pretty much out of here. Peace.